Listen, I've heard many people always talk about they have trust issues. They get into relationships and I have trust issues. They're on dates and they go on dates and they approach men or women and they all have trust issues. If you have trust issues, don't get into a relationship. What you do, you get into counseling. You get into therapy. Because I think a lot of people who have trust issues, deep in the relationship, you begin to act a fool. You begin to tell people, oh, I can't be with you, but you want the body, you want the sex, you want all the benefits, but you have trust issues. If you have trust issues, it's your problem, not their problem. I think many of you want somebody to prove themselves to you before you can relax. No, that's your business. That's your. See, that's the problem. We are, we are here talking about I have trust issues, but nobody is going to counsel about it. You put it on the other person, like you gotta have them prove to you that what what someone else is someone else broke. It's your trust. Nobody should bro break your trust. It's your life. Nobody should break your life. It's your experience. Nobody should be able to mess that up. A lot of you all are not doing it right. If you have trust issues, that should be your business. That should be you recognizing that is your issue. And it should be you recognizing that whenever these thoughts come and these feelings come. You relax and realize that's just my my issues. It shouldn't be put on someone else. You can't do this. You can't go here. You can't talk to this. You can't go online. You can't. That is your problem. I don't know why we think this other person. Pro if you want to be with me, then you have to deal. No, I don't have to deal with you. That's why nobody want to deal with you all these days. Nobody want to put up with this mess. How is it my problem that you have trust issues? I didn't cause them. Why don't we start normalizing going to counseling when we have trust issues, when we realize that we can't trust nobody. Because you know you have trust issues when you can't trust nobody. When you can't let people be alone, when you can't let them be free, when you can't let them just be, instead of your mind going to places where they might be doing, who they might be doing, they, they're doing what your ex-partner did, your ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend did, your ex-husband and ex-wife, and we're stuck in that place, and now we gotta make their life miserable. A person who has trust issues will make the other person's life miserable. When you hear somebody have trust issues, leave them alone. Don't deal with them. You hear, these days you hear men talking about, hey, listen, I have trust issues, right? So, you know, my last woman, listen, that's not your problem, that's his problem. Leave the men alone. If you have trust issues, why you wanna, why you wanna sleep with someone else? You, you, you trust where they're being? You trust what, they, what, what, what you get from them? You trust the energy that's on them Spiritual transmission, transmitted disease, you trust, but you have trust issues? Come on, man. And if you have trust issues as a woman, why even deal with a man? Because you're you making a man's life hell. You're making a man's life a living hell. The one, I'm telling you, the worst people to deal with is people with trust issues. Heal yourself first. Get rid of the trust issues and realize that everybody's not the same. What he did to you or what she did to you is, is not the other person. And maybe they can do it too. But you can't go into a relationship with trust issues. You already ruined it already. You already failed. If you walk in any place with trust issues, you already failed. Because you're living in anxiety. And anxiety is whooping your ass. Because when you think somebody you know, is about to put your life in danger. Somebody is doing something. Somebody is always... Your anxiety is too much. Number one, that's affecting you. You can't even grow. You can't even be at peace. You can't be happy because you have anxiety. As soon as a person leaves your side, you don't know what to do. You act the fool because you have trust issues. Listen, your trust issues is your problem. It's only your problem. Don't bring that problem on someone else. That's toxic. You see, we always use this word, narcissist. This is your problem. Now we have in men, we have a woman making excuses. I hear so much women making excuses for men. Men who have trust issues talking about, well, you know, his ex-wife is because his ex-girlfriend. -ex Listen, that's not your concern. You're not his therapist. Let him deal with that first. See, and some of you all are baited into thinking, well, he has trust issues. While he do all these crazy things and you make excuses for him because he has trust issues. He's not a baby. He's a grown man. You all need to stop thinking that these men don't know what they are doing. They are grown. Same as the woman. If you have trust issues as a woman, I'm not making excuses for you. You grown. This is your mind. This is your reality. That means you're not ready. Because no matter how things look, it still looks scary to you.
No matter what I am, if I keep showing you my phone to prove to you that I'm not doing anything, you're still gonna think the day I don't show you my phone, I'm doing something. You start thinking, well, if I said this time, you know, I'm tired of your issues, it's not mine. All of a sudden, you know what? If you didn't have anything to hide, then you you show it to me. I mean, show it to me, prove it, no. See, proving, when you show somebody your phones and you show them your messages, you are enabling their issues. That, you know, that's what we're doing instead. We are doing the counterproductive action. When you got to prove to somebody you are enabling their issues.